when you come to university, one of the biggest challenges you have is, what is it I want to do? Where is it I want to end up? And most people don't really know the answers to that question when they, when they arrive. And that's fine. Some people do, and that's, that's great. But for me, one of the fascinating things about university is during your three or four years, um, you will learn so much. You will come across so many interesting things and you will definitely form a much better idea of what it is you ultimately want to do. I started in the aerospace engineering department because uh, that's what I th thought I wanted to do for a long time. Um, but then after about a year and a half of the course actually, I was finding it too theoretical. Um, I didn't enjoy all the lectures we were having and the lack of any creativity involved in the course. Um, so after the year and a half, I started to look around um, to find where else I could go. And since I was doing some programming in my spare time, uh, some web development, I, and I've always enjoyed computers as well, um, I asked the computer science department whether they'd take me, and they did. So that's how I found myself here. Well, if you like technology, then it's a course for you. And if you like computers, uh, do it. Um, well, you kind of need to have the passion, otherwise you'll find the coursework a little bit too hard. So if you don't have that uh, perseverance to go and study more and like what you're doing, then it's going to be pretty difficult. Not every course suits every person, I think. Um, the people who are best suited to this one are the ones that are interested in, like I say, a breadth of knowledge, um, but also some of the particular specialities that go on here. Since I've arrived, I've been working with people in biochemistry, in geography. There's people in geography doing some absolutely amazing uh, climate modelling, which needs huge computers to be able to do it. People in the aero department that are modelling helicopter rotor blades. People in chemistry that are doing all sorts of interesting work modelling new drugs and how they might treat things like HIV, how they might prevent things like flu. And all of these things, they're huge modelling and simulation tasks that require fantastically large computers that are very difficult to program. Well, a lot of the first year is programming to make sure that uh, students know exactly what programming is and how to do it in a variety of languages. And then uh, a lot of the assignments that happen later in the course are about programming or involve programming. So there's a lot of it, yes. We run a course which is um, uh, topical, uh, dynamic again, uh, and uh, uh, one of the best in the country, uh, if I may say so. Uh, it's, uh, we, we, we keep updating it. Well, what you're looking for when you're teaching is uh, to try to find those things which have lasting importance and aren't just uh, fashion of the moment. Um, but on the other hand, you have to take current languages and current problems, current applications to explain them. So every year you try to give the same story but with a whole new batch of, of uh, pictures and illustrations to go around it. And now this year we've started a high performance compu computing unit for undergraduates. So this is a course, an optional course you can take in your third or fourth years to learn all about parallel programming, all kinds of different cool hardware that's very, very parallel, um, all sorts of interesting computer architectures and all kinds of interesting software algorithms and approaches for using these, these really interesting big, fast systems. I think more generally the uh, breadth of the uh, course here is something that we, we take quite great pride in. I think that's quite exciting. So graduates from Bristol quite often um, come up with a breadth of expertise that you, you don't necessarily find from elsewhere. So I think that's really impressive, particularly in the final year projects, you see that come, come through quite, quite clearly. The project work is a lot of fun actually. That's, that's probably the most enjoyable part of the, the course. You do a lot of work in groups of two people up to five or six people. Um, and it's just interacting with people, learning how other people tackle problems or code. Um, it's a lot of fun. The best thing about Bristol Computer Science is that they encourage you to sort of take an interest in learning just for learning's sake. Um, and that sort of continues in the second year when uh, you're able to sort of choose um, these tutorials which don't actually count towards your degree, um, but they're being taught by like, people on the subjects that they really are passionate about. So I've done one in computer vision, um, which has been really interesting. I've been able to use that quite a lot as well. Uh, image processing computer vision is, is my area of research, so um, that involves um, uh, understanding what the camera sees. So whether it's from uh, uh, literally 
checking the uh, contents of a bottle to to be f whether it's filled or not, all the way to having a camera on a robot, say, uh, or, or on a wheelchair that can navigate itself uh, around its environment uh, in an intelligent fashion. Yeah, well, this is something that when I before I came to Bristol University, when I was working in industry, this this was the kind of thing that I was working on and designing. So it's a it's a really parallel processor designed for high performance computing. Um, so, so today's processors have something like two cores on them or four cores. This one takes that up to the, to the max, if you like, and this has 192 cores all designed in, inside one chip. Um, so this is the kind of thing that we teach our students how to program on the, the high performance computing. But I suppose my interaction is, is first and foremost almost constant day to day. So people come and, and ask me questions, I obviously um, teach a bunch of courses in a lot of different areas uh, which on one hand is quite challenging but on the other hand lets me see a wide spectrum of the students here which is uh, I guess a nice a nice aspect. I really enjoy being able to do that to answer questions and help people through the course. I was um, a little bit anxious at first because you think sort of the stereotype of the computer science uh, academic is, is quite antisocial. Um, but I've actually found they're a lot more fun. Well, yeah, it is, it is a nice atmosphere here at Bristol University because uh, basically uh, here in Merchant Ventures building um, you have the labs and you can interact with uh, other students if you have like a questions or something and sometimes you can just see the lectures going around and you can just like stop them and ask them for a chat. So what do you enjoy most about computer science? Probably the creative aspect. Um, at the end of the day, after you've written some code, you actually have created something. Um, something unique, something no one else has written. Each piece of code is unique, it's yours. Um, and you've created something that's often useful. Um, you're not just creating random tasks or solving problems the lecture is set. You're actually making useful programs out there. Um, and it's, it is so satisfying that after hours of work, hours of writing the code, you've actually created something um, that's usable. Uh, that's probably what I most enjoy. I think most people who do computer science um, fall in love with it. <laughs>